Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online with Long Claw for Larry and Steel where we always deliver. This week my crew True Valerian and Steel held their first vehicle meet at the Vespucci Beach on Saturday and let me tell you it was a whole lot of fun. We decided to hold a motorcycle meet and take along slam trucks and do some stunts but let's just say things got a little messy and it didn't really end with the bikes. We will be holding these meets every week and if you'd like to join them then click on the link in my bio and do so via the Rockstar Social Club meet. In my crew you will learn how to make money in GTA and rank up fast as well as working with a community that provides a safe environment for you to sort out those businesses and run the heist with players that you can rely on. If you need help in GTA or maybe you're experienced and you want to give something back to newer and lower level players then True Valerian Steel is the place for you. So the idea behind this was simple, we all work hard and making money in GTA is not always easy and let's face it we don't do it just to sit on a pile of cash. It's all about getting together enough funds to buy yourself whatever next vehicle you have your eye on. When you get to my level you'll have hundreds of vehicles in the game and most of them end up collecting dust in your garages so why not bring them out and show off what your hard earned cash has bought you. I recently purchased a slam truck and I thought it would be fun to bring it out and try to do some stunts off the back of it but it's not as easy as it sounds. We went into a crew session and all congregated on the beach in a couple of trucks and well you can see how we got on. When a group of crewmates get together in a game with a load of vehicles and not forgetting a whole load of firepower too, it's often the temptation to start blowing each other up is just too much. We'd barely made it onto the sand before the carnage even began. The crew were eager to get going and could barely wait for me to park up before they started mounting the truck. I have this thing fully upgraded but it still drives like a tugboat and it's a nightmare to control. It's more often sliding about all over the place but eventually I managed to get it where it needed to be. Someone else turned up with another slam truck which is good and we had a couple of ramp buggies as well. But I was starting to get the feeling that things were going to get a bit heated and as I pulled up onto the beach I could see the festival bus parked up and I started to think okay so this is going to be all right after all to be honest all i care about is that everybody has some fun it's really hard all being cooped up in lockdown and getting together to blow off some steam once a week is what everybody needs you may notice a few vehicles flying around overhead too we did try to run a few stunts on the trucks that is until someone set them on fire you know how it works someone takes a shot at you and then you go after them in revenge well that may not be how i operate but these tit for tat killings got out of hand and once the crew started wasting each other it wasn't long before the LSPD turned up and it became like the final showdown in an action movie. Who the hell brought out the Cerberus? I knew once the arena war vehicles arrived there was no controlling the event so I just let it fly. The crew were having fun and that's what we all came here for. Whilst I valiantly continued to try to ride my stunts off the back of the slam truck, the LSPD continued picking us off one by one, and as the sun continued to shine and the bullets continued to fly through the air, everyone was running about either defending themselves from the police or taking out an unsuspecting member of the crew for their own pleasure. I spotted a few people striding around with their sniper rifles too, and I realised this was getting serious. My crew, True Valerian Steel, are mostly money grinders, players that are in the game primarily to earn money from their businesses and from running heists together. We seek out the best ways to complete the Kaiparico heist and to make the money from the island in the right way. When all is said and done, we love each other, but that doesn't stop you blowing a hole in one of your mates just to annoy them. We actually work together every day. I stream live around 3.30 on weekdays and for most of the weekend and we run heists back to back with each other. The crew ranges from experienced players like myself to very new players to the game with literally no money to buy anything. And if you need help buying a submarine or something else that you're saving up for, then you can join our crew and join us every day on Xbox and TikTok and Twitch. 
and make some money running the heist until you have enough money to buy whatever it is you want and you can start your own Kaipa Rico journey for yourself. When I started playing GTA I was amazed by the sheer toxicity of the game, particularly when I was playing in a public lobby where it's obvious to me there are just too many players who actually have nothing to do. They don't have any businesses set up properly, they don't know how to make money in the game the right way and they don't have anyone to play with because, well, they're toxic. So in protest they fly around the lobby blowing people up because they have nothing to do and no one to do it with. By starting a crew that works together making money and building trusted relationships it gives new players somewhere to go when they load into the game. People to look out for and who look out for them every day. By joining a session with someone in your crew and a party with players you can rely on, you can always work together to make money, sharing some of your cut, making friends instead of rivals in this very awesome game. And if blowing each other up and taking target practice is really your thing, then why not do that in a nice way with your crew every week when we get together on a Saturday for the vehicle meet? I've nearly 300 million in my bank and this is my mission, right? I've bought almost everything in the game, so there's not much that I can spend my money on. And I'm giving it away, giving away my cut when I run my high so other players who need money more than me can benefit from it. I have a small but steady following on YouTube and TikTok and you could help spread the word by reacting to this video and letting other people see it. Click the link in my bio and follow me on all my social media. Watch and share the video, like and subscribe and if you know people that who need help in GTA, invite them to join the crew and let's make something truly awesome happen. I'll also be giving away some shark cards as I get a bit closer to 5,000 followers on TikTok and you're going to need to be a member of the crew to qualify and also follow me on every platform you can. I know there's a lot going on in GTA and sometimes it seems a little bit overwhelming but if you have a crew to support you then everything seems to work a little bit better. So why not join True Valerian Steel today and have some fun and some games. Yes, that was a cargo plane being flown directly into the middle of the vehicle meet. Let's face it, when you have a garage or a hangar full of weaponized aircrafts and vehicles, you're going to bring them out and show them off. And you're not really doing it just to show how well you can fly. You can't resist pressing that launch button for those homing missiles and taking out some of the crew just to make a bit of noise. And as I said, everybody was having so much fun, I just let it all fly. And I realised the time for riding stunts off the back of the slam truck was probably coming to an end. Night time fell and the weaponised military vehicles arrived on the sand and I realised things were getting rather loud. The police were still on the beach with their shotguns taking out anybody they could and it didn't seem to matter whether you were involved or not. Being a crew member with someone who's already attracted the police kind of gives you a wanted level. So there was nothing left to do but get involved. The night sky was lit up with the sound and the sights of the missiles flying through the air but the festival bus was still on the beach so I took to the DJ decks and tried to get everybody up there with me for a few photo opportunities but of course there was always somebody waiting to take me out. Just when I thought I'd seen everything in the game, whilst I was riding around the beach minding my own business on a quad bike, I saw someone had finally managed to park their submarine on the sand. Why not, hey? It's probably the biggest vehicle you could bring to a motorcycle meet, so why not? I actually thought it was quite an inventive idea. And yes, there is someone throwing sticky bombs at it to try and destroy it. And that is the nature of this motorcycle vehicle meet. And we're already planning the next one, which is going to take place this Saturday at 3.30. And we're thinking of doing aircrafts, aeroplanes at the airport. I will be posting some more videos about this and asking for your ideas and your input so look out for that and there's not much else to say about this vehicle meet except that it was a hell of a lot of fun and it's now definitely something that we're going to feature in our crew every week so if you'd like to join the true valerian steel crew click the link in my bio all you need is a rockstar social club account if you're already in a number of crews you can stay there and you can also join our crew as well the only requirement is that when you're playing with me online then you make the long claw valerian steel true valerian steel crew your active crew for that session so that we can see who you are and that lets us know that you're a safe player that we can rely on so thanks for watching this video please check out my channel and look at some of the other content stay safe take care and you know i'll see you all soon